good evening. Welcome to Earnings Central, the show where you get a complete roundup of all the big earnings that have come out today. Sterlight is the fresh one that has just reported their numbers. While on a top line front, they're slightly lower than what the street was estimating. The numbers will just flash for you on your screen. 6,677 crores is what they've reported, where we were estimating about a 6,770 crore number. It is the bottom line that has really disappointed the street, at least at the face of it. The bottom line has reported a 731 crore number versus uh, a 500. Thirteen crore number, but we were estimating more than eleven hundred crores to come in on the bottom line. So on that front, uh, Prima Facie, the numbers from Sterlite look a little weak, lower than uh, lower than uh, estimated. That's the Sterlite numbers that you can see on your screen. Cute. It's uh, not bad if you remove the extraordinary number that has come in. So there is an extraordinary component as well we need, that we need to factor in. So once that extraordinary component is, um, which will just flash for you the numbers. Uh, once they flash for you, the numbers are not too bad on the bottom line. So the consolidated net profits have come in at 731 crores versus 513 crores, and this has an extraordinary component added to it as well. On the top line, it's pretty much met with what the street was expecting. It's reported. Uh, a 6,677 crore number. This is a jump up of about uh, almost about 45 percent, and that is versus a 4,536 number on a YOY basis. That's uh, those are the Sterlite numbers that you can see on your screen. The stock though was down about two odd percent in trade. Those are the consolidated net profits numbers. They include an extraordinary as well. So once you take that out, then the numbers don't look too bad. 731 crores is what they've reported versus a 513, 513 crore number on a YOY basis. Keep an eye out. For an EBITDA margin figure of about 25.6%, uh, this is versus a 12.5% number. It's not just the low base effect, but it is a huge uh, uh, spiraling upwards of base metal prices as well that will augur really well for Sterlite this time around. Those are the numbers that you can see on your screen. Sterlite just reported its Q3 numbers, but we'll get you more on that and the breakup as well. Let's uh, start off with some other numbers that were reported today. HCL Tech, which turned out to be a tepid set of numbers, the margins have dipped on account of the salary hikes, but BFSI is showing good traction and could grow about 10% sequentially. Here's what the management had to say to us earlier today. IT services has grown 4% quarter on quarter. And infrastructure management services? As 7.6% quarter on quarter. Mm. Could you take us through these two verticals and what you've seen in terms of internals, both software services and IMS? I think, uh, Uden, if you go back to when the recession started, we said that our growth will be led by run the business by combining application development and infrastructure services in form of total IT outsourcing. So what you have seen in the calendar year 09 is we have demonstrated 23% year-on-year growth over calendar year 08, which has been led by application development and infrastructure services. If you look at the TPI index also, which came out last week, it has said in HCL is amongst the top 10 in the world on application development and infrastructure TCV side. So on back of a 23% growth, 28% year-on-year growth uh, this quarter, it is largely led by application development and infrastructure. Now in this quarter, you are also seeing signs of recovery of the enterprise application services, which is indicating to some positive trends towards discretionary spend which i think you will see a positive trend more towards the middle of next year so if you look forward you would see discretionary spend being led growth being led by bpo uh, by engineering services and by the enterprise application and in all three areas we are extremely strong so recession led by application infrastructure recovery post next middle of next year led by the discretionary spend services of hcl Uh, the growth numbers that you spoke about for both so IT and for IMS are these in dollar terms or constant currency? In dollar terms. And in constant currency, what would the numbers be? Uh, I think about three percent for IT services. And for uh, infrastructure management? Six point four percent. Is it true that BPOs had a fairly weak quarter this time, both in terms of revenues and EBITDA margins, particularly, which have gone come down to middling single digits? So then, what we had said on BPO was that uh, the voice-based business, which was 100% of a business three years ago, uh, we wanted to bring more transaction-based services. So voice-based business now is about 50% of our services, or 50 or 55% of our services, and that has come down from about 50, 60 million dollars per quarter down to about 35 million dollars per quarter, or 30 million dollars per quarter. 
and that has been replaced by transaction services because of the acquisitions we've done. We have said that we're going to re-engineer our business services towards platform-based services, which we are in the process of doing. So we invested about $4 million or this quarter in re-platforming our BPO services. So I'm happy with the BPO performance because we are re-engineering the services, which I had said very clearly, and that re-engineered BPO services, you will still see uptick in performance towards the later part of next year because we have re-engineered it. As I told Uden, we are a broad-based services company, and therefore application development and infrastructure is performing now. And 2010 to 2015, you will see business services with underlying layer of IT services dominate our growth strategy. Therefore, it was important to fix BPO. So the margins have not gone down. Our investments in platform, in developing those platforms for services has dramatically gone up. And that's the reason you're seeing the margins there. Mm. Anil Morning, uh, before I talk about overall margins for HCL Tech, if you could just take me through the margin performance that uh, Vineet was talking about in the BPO segment specifically. As Vineet mentioned, in, in the BPO business, BPO has been a highly three-year back, highly voice-based business, good margins, 20-25% plus. However, we decided that this is not the focus area of HCL and we need to focus on the total IT outsourcing deal, meaning application, infrastructure, and BPO. And towards that, we started building, we made some acquisitions. So what we are doing is re-platforming. So you, you saw that announcement where we won a very big deal from Equitable Life. So, so this, the attempt is to re-platform and then uh, on annuity-based revenues. Mm. Vineet, which quarter of 2010 do you think, uh, I mean, calendar 2010, does BPO stabilize and show some growth and you get back to stable state margins again? I, I think margins, we are still four or five quarters away. Uh, revenues, we are about two or three quarters away. Okay. Uh, this one uh, number I want, which is your total uh, net employee addition, Vineet, because the feeling seems to be that you are still a bit cautious on the employee or less aggressive on the employee addition front. I am. Uh, so then it's a good question. I think the way HCL... Uh, developed its strategy was just in time higher. And the reason was two. Number one, I believe that the market is moving towards more experienced people executing projects rather than uh, freshers. So the ratio of freshers in its sales business model is coming down. Uh, number two, we wanted to make sure that we honor all our commitments which we make rather than give massive hirings in the campus and then spread the hiring over a period of time. I am very positive about hirings going forward, but they are not necessarily going to be from campus and are therefore just in time lateral hiring strategy has worked very hard, uh, very well and this quarter has been the highest in lateral hiring and will continue to be pretty well going forward. Mm. Do you see significant uh, wage hikes during the course of calendar 2010 in addition to what you did in October last year, uh, Vineet? So overall, uh, Overall, we are done with our wage hikes as of now, uh, and I think we will watch what is happening in the market very carefully. So we are ahead of the curve on wage hikes. Uh. All right. That's